Hey everybody, this is Game Guy Side again, and this is another Adobe After Effects CS3 tutorial. Now, in the first one, I'd say I'd make a stage two on how to edit and put some color into Flourish and Arrow Effects from the Evolution package, which you purchase from VideoCopilot.net. Okay, now this is what we're going to be doing t today. I'm going to show you how to use the fast blur um, effect so you get this um, so open this window right so I have the CC radial fast blur so as you can see as I move this across you know I just push it all to one side it looks pretty cool so you can just put that in your, into your introduction or something. And we'll just highlight a little. Oops. Alright. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to put some colour into the flourish. And I'm going to show you how to edit the flourish itself. So, I've cut that out of that. And you're probably thinking, oh, you can't do that because it's a movie file. The MOV iTunes format file. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, first of all, these textures that I use. Um, the first tutorial that I created, um, I had a couple of, you know, comments and emails asking for the Earl of where to get these. And, you know, one email went to about 10, uh, 15, and 20, then I already, some guy couldn't speak English, and I tried to tell him and then he started abusing, saying, hey, you know, I asked you for it, where is it? Well, I told you, these aren't from a website, these are from the evolution package. It all comes together. Uh, you know, the the flourish, the tutorials, the screenshots, and how, on what you can create, how to edit it, you know, the readme files, all that, it all comes together, all the images, the textures, the coloured, the black and white ones, it all is in one package, which is the evolution package, which you purchase from videocopilot.net. Alright, so, now I'll show you how to do it. So this is the background, and I'll just open a couple of these, so that's the colour. That's um, showing how to do it in the first introduction. So if you visit my channel, you can watch that one. And then there's the particles. These aren't colored yet. Right, the title, background, the text, and the flourish. Now the particles and the flourish, I haven't had color put into them yet. All right, so I'll start off with the particles. So I'll go into effect, generate, and fill. I'll change the color red to a, a bright blue. Okay, now on the flourish, you can do the same, you can go into generate and fill, you know it's a nice blue, doesn't look too bad, but I don't really like that, it's still a bit plain, so I go into effect and stylize instead of generate, so I go into stylize and glow. Alright, you can't see much of an effect at the moment, so just see, bring this out so you can read it. Now, glow intensity, I'll change that to full. Now, the glow colors, I'll change it from original to A and B. And on the A and B colors, I'll change this to a nice bright blue, same as the particles. And color B, I'll change this to white. Now, increase increase the glow radius so this is the amount that it glows all right now that's not too bad edit the color phase just keep spinning it around till you get what you want yes i'll use that all right Now, you can just put that on there, but I don't really like this big chunky bit here, so I'll just bring it down so you can see it. 
Now this area here, I don't really like that and say I don't mind these I don't mind half of this but I'm just gonna show you how to take it out. So say if you didn't want that bit there and this curl here and these big long bits here, these two curlies. Alright. So now I'll show you how to edit that. So I'll just bring it down here so you have a full view of it. Alright, make it a bit bigger. Okay, so yeah, just double click on it and it'll open up a new window. You can always go back to your composition. Okay, so make sure you have a full view of it. Alright, now select the pen tool where you can press G. Make sure it's just the, the nib of the pen. Make sure it doesn't have a plus, you know, minus or a vertex tool image on it. So it's just the pen head. Alright. Now usually when you go around this, um, usually miss a bit so it's best if you zoom in. So I would just scroll in a bit, press H to drag it across so I can get to the part which I want to cut. Alright, now I'll press J for the pen. Now once you start all the colour effects go away but they'll come back later on. Now, I want to cut this out, so I'll just keep going round. Make sure I don't miss any. So, I'm just pressing, const constantly pressing G and H. So, H to drag, and G for the pen tool. Alright, now I'll zoom out a bit. Alright, now I don't want this bit either, so I'll come into here, I'll zoom in again, press H, now this does take a while but if you get it to look right then it's worth it. Alright, see how it looks. Alright. Now this is intercepting this other curl here, so we zoom in so we don't miss any. Alright. Go to there and there. Uh, bring it down a bit. section here so I just go through that all right and now I'll join it back up okay so that's what I want and now I'll go back to the composition and I can see it's set just select your background layer so you you can't see that you've got anything highlighted so now you can see it's nice and neat I haven't really missed anything it's got a finishing edge on here so if you do it nice you don't really notice the part which you cut out from the intersection All right. doesn't look too bad in my opinion, it looks a bit better. Alright. 